What's up everybody, thanks for coming in. This video is a practical review of Paladin. I'm a Korean Lost Ark user who played over 2000 hours, and today I will be watching how real Paladin is like. This is Paladin. Paladin is a supporting class. In Lost Ark, there are many supporting classes. Before it was 2, and now it's 3 as the artist came out. Between supporters, Paladin is the tankiest. Of course, it's a warrior class. Paladin uses holy skills to cure or protect party members from danger. It can also use punishment skills to counter such patterns. Some people can misunderstand that Paladin can choose to be a dealer, like in World of Warcraft, but it isn't. Most of its skills are useful for supporting. You can just enjoy playing a melee Paladin while you continue the storylines, but not in raids. Next, let's look at the identity. Paladin's identity is divided into two. One is Punisher, another is Holy Aura. Punisher gives yourself a buff, enforcing your punishment skills. And Holy Aura gives a buff to party members, including yourself, extra 10% attack power. So, you can decide which identity you will activate. Most of the time, you'll be using Holy Aura if you're a supporter. Paladin picks between two stats, Swiftness and Specialization. Swiftness reduces cooldown and increases agility. Specialization allows you to efficiently gain identity gauge and enforces the identity buff. Swiftness is commonly used for supporting classes. You can use protective skills more than specialization with high movement speed. More skill usage, Swiftness, a bit better buff for party members, Specialization. Now let's look at class engravings and what kind of skills they use. First, Judgment. Judgment is the minor class engraving as Paladin is a supporting class. It increases punishment skill damage by 15%, 25%, identity meter gain with punishment skills by 100%, and duration of Judgment also by 100%. Because it's related to Paladin's damage, this engraving is not commonly used for the melee paladin. In this video, I'm not gonna show skills or rotations of Judgment Paladin because it's not fixed. You can use any kind of skills you want and Judgment Paladin is not that helpful for party members. Second class engraving is Blessed Aura. This engraving is very important. Blessed Aura is the main engraving to support allies with paladin. Damage party members receive is reduced by 10 to 20%, and HP of party members is restored over time. Combined with Paladin's identity, activating Holy Aura will give buffs, I just explained, with previous 10% extra attack power. Because of this engraving, Paladin's called a campfire, which is a battle item that slowly restores HP while you're standing on it. There are many skill trees you can decide to use. 7 1, 6 2, or 4 4. Numbers depend on how many holy skills you put inside your skill tree. You can put 7 to 4 of them. I'm going to show you the most common skill tree used in Korea. It's 6 2 skill tree. Rotations are simple Dot Wrath, Shock of Light, which is a skill with Trace of Light tripod, and Heavenly Blessing, and Shock of Light again. The Law of God and Sacred Protection is used for protecting party members, and Holy Rush is used for dodging. Executioner Sword for counterattack and part destruction, and for the last skill, you can use Judgment Light for gaining the meter or Divine Area for protection. One crucial thing you need to know is that God's Wrath and Heavenly Blessing buffs can be adapted together, so wait for the time and use the skill. These are skill trees you can use when you don't have enough skill points. Paladin is a great class for beginners and people who play healers in other MMORPG games. If you like to heal your party members, Paladin is a great choice and I strongly recommend it. If you are interested in Judgment Paladin, I don't recommend you doing it. There are better dealer classes than Judgment Paladin. However, if you want to be a supporter, this class is it.